Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a mukbang to start off the year. So it's 2024, which is crazy. But I just felt like it was perfect to do a mukbang at the beginning of 2024. And then I can do one at the end of 2024 and kind of compare my answers because... I don't know, I feel like that'll be, that'll be fun. So I ordered myself some Chipotle, amazing. And they gave me a fork, which is so good because they always forget forks and it just doesn't taste the same. So, so I put up a poll on my Instagram and I have a couple of questions, some good ones that we can, you know, talk about. So let's get this started. Um, I ordered myself white rice, chicken, cheese and queso it's so good with queso guys you have to queso i'm saying it like american queso hold on so so yummy okay so the first question is who is your favorite music artist so i have a couple i've been changing a little bit like evolving in my music taste recently i've been listening to well the thing is I, majority of the music that I listen to is in Spanish, like, when I go to play Spotify, I open up my reggaeton playlist, and it's not all reggaeton, but it's just Spanish music. Um, I do have, like, you know, some English songs in there, but I, majority of the music I listen to is reggaeton. So recently, like, like, recently, like, within, like, the last week, I've been really getting into Raul Alejandro, like, obsessed love it i've always like liked his music but now i'm like hardcore into it um but i also like like carol g and i like mora and quevedo like i like a lot of different musics and i've been trying to get into different genres but yeah right now at this current moment it's raul andro because that's who i've been like obsessing over okay i need to take a bite this looks so good mm. it's so good are you going to do a Christmas haul? Yes, I will be posting a Christmas haul on YouTube. I do it every single year. Before, I used to do like the opening, the Christmas, the Christmas presents, and the Christmas haul. But I feel like it's just really chaotic. Because it was just me by myself. Like, it would be better. But I also have my brothers. And I'm not going to make them like, oh, you don't open that present now. Like, you know what I mean? It's just too chaotic when I'm like with, with both of my brothers. Um... So I just, last year I just did the Christmas haul. This year I'm also just going to do the Christmas haul. But yeah, stay tuned for that. I will definitely be posting it. It wouldn't be Christmas if I didn't do that. Okay, now we're getting into the deep questions. How is your mental health? So I thought about how I was going to answer this. Because I have been very lucky that I haven't had to, like I haven't really struggled too bad in this area um and just like with the topic of mental health i've been very lucky but i'm also human i'm a teenage girl living in the 21st century so some days are rough but that's normal it's fine but yeah like i said i've been very fortunate that i haven't really struggled that that bad or that hard with my mental health so moving on because that's a very sensitive topic so I said this in my in the Christmas wish list video that I did. I struggle so hard ask, asking for Christmas presents because I just like I know the things that I want, but it just when it comes down to like actually telling people this is what I want, I like go blank and I like forget what to ask for. But this year, the main things that I asked for were new AirPods because I really needed new AirPods, a Stanley because I really want a Stanley, and um, Nike Dunks. Those are like the main things that I asked for. And then everything else, like I just like gift cards and money because you can never go wrong with a gift card. Like, oh, I just dropped rice. If you don't know what to get someone, get them a gift card or get them just cash and you'll be good. When's your B day? My birthday is very soon, less than a month away, January 18th. I am turning 16. And it feels so weird because it feels like I just, I just had my quinceas and I just did my photo shoot for my quince and all that stuff. Like, and now I'm turning 16 already. It's crazy. But 
But since last year, I did like the whole quince, like not the full quince, but like I did my photo shoot and I had a party here. This year, like I'm not doing like a sweet 16 because that's just not really like, obviously we're in the United States, so it is traditional to do a sweet 16, but I'm Cuban and sweet 16 is not very, it's like not a common thing to do. Like that's just not what we do. So I'm not having like a party or anything. The night of my birthday, I, we already made reservations. We're going to my favorite restaurant in Burrito. Love it so much. Um, I'm gonna go with my parents, my brothers, my grandparents, like just my family. And then my birthday's on a Thursday, so then that weekend I'm gonna hang out with my friends and do something with them. But I'm, like I'm not going crazy, just because I did go crazy last year for my 15th. So when are you gonna go back to see Allison and Emily? I'm gonna see them in like two days for the Christmas party for this at their house and. It's the whole family, so I will be seeing them in like, yeah, in like two days. I also have my glass of water. But this is hitting today, so good. What do you regret most in your life? The thing is, I feel like I still haven't done anything that I like would full on regret. Like, lots of regret. Because... Everything that I've done so far, like I already have and like I already did it, there's nothing I can do about that. But I don't think I've done something that I've like, like strongly regret. Maybe if you ask me like two years, I'll have another answer. But as of now, I don't have something that I, that I've done that I like strongly, strongly regret. Can you speak Spanish? Yes, I can speak Spanish. Spanish is my first language. Um because that like i live in cuba but like okay i have gotten more comfortable speaking my my spanish because when i'm with my my parents my my family like i'm fine speaking spanish but like i still since i've been like speaking english for so long like i learned it when i was like four or five like and i always spoke it in school like i'm speaking it right now like i feel like i'm a little bit more comfortable speaking my my English and since I don't have like a Cuban accent like I don't have an accent at all like I just speak Spanish I feel I get a little bit insecure sometimes I'm not gonna lie I do but I've been speaking it a lot more especially at ballet I've been speaking a lot more Spanish so I have been feeling a little bit more comfortable in my Spanish but like speaking Spanish to the camera is so weird like I just I don't feel comfortable doing it yet because I always like you know, like, maybe someone here is, like, bilingual or any of you guys watching, like, you have people that you speak English to and you have people that you speak Spanish to. The camera is someone that I speak, well, it's not a person, but the camera I usually speak English to. So it's so weird speaking Spanish. Like, even when I make a TikTok, like, so many of you guys have asked me to make TikToks in Spanish or, like, get ready with me in Spanish. But it just feels so awkward because, like, I don't know, I just never do it. And I, I'm trying to, I tried so hard. Like I've recorded them, but like listening back to my voice is just awful. It's so bad, I don't want to do it. Pero si hablo español. Ew, I hated that, I'm, oh, I hated that, I hated that, I hated that. It's just, I don't know. But yeah, I do speak Spanish. Actually, I'm, I, mean, I mean, I'm fluent in Spanish. And I can write and, write and read. Spanish, but it's just, I don't know. I haven't gotten out of that bubble yet of like speaking Spanish to the camera. Next comment or next question is from my lovely aunt. She asked, how much do you love your tia? I love you so much. Mwah. Love you. How old are you? I am 15, going on 16. See, the last couple like we like the last like three weeks before your next birthday just start saying the like the next the new age like don't even say your old one because like that's how i think about it like maybe in like a week if someone asks me how old i am i'd probably just say 16 because i basically am like you know what i mean i don't know maybe i'm crazy for thinking like that but i'm 15 going on 16 so i'm basically 16. Okay, this question, I'm about to rant. I'm about to ramble on and on and on. What do you want to be in the future? Okay, let me take a bite. Let me take a bite. Hold on.
I'm gonna place it down. So, my ultimate life goal, like, my ultimate life goal is to live in Europe. That's all I want. That's all I want in life is to live in Europe. So, another ultimate life goal is to dance professional ballet. Combine the two, dance professional ballet in Europe. Boom. Um, I made a joke the other day. I was like, I'm not gonna make the joke. Never mind. It, it wasn't even funny. <laughs> okay. I, and I made the joke to myself. Like I was just thinking to myself, and I made it. But okay, whatever. Anyway, but yeah, I want to be living in. I want to be living in Spain, Spain specifically. I like out of all of Europe, Spain specifically. But like once I'm in Europe, then I can like just hop around. You know what I mean? I would love to dance professionally in Spain. And if I'm not dancing, I still want to live in Spain. <laughs> um, and like career, career wise, if it's not dancing, then I would like to study to be a physical therapist. Because I feel like it's kind of like in the area of knowledge that I already have since I'm a dancer. Like I would like to work with dancers because I feel like I could connect well with, you know, dancer to dancer since I've already, you know, but if not with dancers, just anyone in general, just physical therapists, physical therapy is calling my name at the moment, but it wasn't calling my name last year, last year, like, no, like two years ago, um, law was calling my name and like three years before that, it was just other type. So I don't know, as of now, I would love to be a physical therapist if ballet doesn't work out or once ballet ends, I could start, you know? Um, but yeah, someone take me to Spain. I want to go to Spain so bad. You guys don't even understand. You, you don't even understand. What's your fave ballet costume? So recently I wore, I did the Nutcracker and I did Spanish lead. My costume for that was gorgeous. I loved it so much. So I think that was my favorite so far. I have a TikTok in it and I think I have like an Instagram post on it. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, you can go to my Instagram. Catherine B8. Sorry, someone's like riding their scooter down my street. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's been my favorite so far. How was it living with Ali and Emily during COVID? So I'm honestly, I'm very happy that I got to spend COVID with them. Not because I don't love my family or anything, but because, you know, me and my brothers have a seven year age gap. Me, Alison and Emily, we are all one year apart. So it was just like, it was better to have people my own age. And I, probably would have been bored out of my mind if I would have been here alone. Or not alone, but like with my parents and my brothers. Like I think I would have gone crazy. Cause like with my cousins, we were doing like videos every day and we were doing challenges and like dyeing our hair and a bunch of stuff. So it was, it was fun. So I am, I'm happy that I got to spend it with them. Last but not least, I always have to ask this question at least once in my mukbang because I get asked like, these questions on a regular basis. How come you haven't hung out with Ali or how come you haven't hung out with Emily anymore or gone to their house? I think I said this in one of the last times I answered this question. People like, I guess people forgot that I did spend three months with them. So I was like in every video for like three months. That's over now. I, um, I'm busy doing my own thing. They're busy doing their own thing. We don't live the closest. So, yeah. But I still see them. It's not like I go like seven months or I think I have gone seven months. Since I've seen them. No, no. Last time I saw them was for Thanksgiving, which was last month. Now I'm going to see them now. I'll probably see them on New Year's. Then birthdays are all coming up. So, you'll see us together soon. I have like three more bites. So I'm going to savor them because it's just so good. All done. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what other kinds of videos you guys want to see. I have a lot of stuff coming up, like planned, 
because you know my birthday month is coming I have some stuff planned Christmas is coming I'm not gonna post this till like probably after the new year but just because I have like the Christmas stuff like that needs to come out beforehand um yeah just let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see go on my tiktok or my instagram dm me like i don't know just tell me what kind of videos you want to see and i will see you guys in the next one peace out